Hello and welcome to Phoenix Point. This is a new game made by the creator, or creators, I'm not sure, of the original XCOM game. So not the, the new one by Firaxis, but like the original. And um, it's pretty good. So I think we should just start a new game. Uh, cards on the table, I have done three missions uh, so far of Phoenix Point just to make sure that everything works okay, that my system isn't going to like reject the game. So yeah, I, I know a tiniest amount, but what I've played so far, I've really liked. So I hope you are going to like it as well. Um, if you've played Xenonauts as well, there's elements of that because of course Xenonauts is a reimagining of the original XCOM as well. So. The old world is no more. The Arctic permafrost has melted, unleashing a deadly virus, claiming billions of lives and causing billions more to mutate into mindless abominations. The remaining survivors have gathered together in havens throughout the world, hoping the infection won't reach them there. We are the Phoenix Project, all that is left of an organization dedicated to ensuring humanity's survival. It is time to rise from the ashes. Very nice. So. Uh, I do have the tutorial on so that I can sort of explain things to you as well if you haven't seen this game. So the Geoscape uh, represents the current world and all known locations. You can access it at any time by clicking on the Geoscape tab. Rotate the globe, blah blah blah, okay. The Manticore is your transport craft. The crew of the Manticore is displayed in the aircraft panel below. Center on the aircraft is the middle mouse button or click on the aircraft image. To move, left click the location on the globe, then select the move action. The orange circle shows your maximum movement range. Lovely. So this is where we are. We start in, I guess, Georgia-ish area, although the world is a little bit different. As the intro said, the ice caps have melted and the world is, well, there's a, there's a bit less land, let's say. So England looking rather weak on the East Coast. Uh, Denmark is, um, well, it's not anymore. Uh, <laughs> there's no, this, uh, the Black Sea is no longer attached to the Mediterranean, although the Mediterranean is still able to flow out into the main sea. And best of all, there is no Florida. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a really nice map. I like it. Very nice indeed. And then up here as well. Lovely. So we start here and from experience, I know that this is completely randomized because in my test game, I started over here in uh, northern India. So this is where we are. We are Phoenix Point. We, we have our ship here and we have a base, let's say, uh, right next to us. We will go into that base, but let's talk first about these unexplored sites. I could fly myself over there, then uh, I would basically scan them and then potentially do a mission on the ground. So I think in the first episode, we're probably gonna get to both of these, but first off, let's go to our base. And we'll deploy to the, we will not deploy to the base, do I have to not? Okay, it looks like we're doing the mission first, Never mind. I was hoping I could go here so I could start research, but I guess, I guess not yet. So I guess, um, yeah, to the explored, unexplored site. Exploration sites with a question mark may contain valuable resources or another Phoenix base. Left click on an exploration site and ex select explore. Exploration takes time and you may get ambushed. And let's hope we don't get ambushed. Though I think there's probably going to be a fight regardless. I'm not sure. So there's a scavenging site. We need to eliminate all of the enemies to claim the resource crates. Okay, dokie then. Four areas covered by the mist to make contact with any havens there and protect them if you can. Okie dokie. So if your soldier does not, if your soldier does not the right class to use a weapon efficiently, accuracy will be lower and they may fumble, fail to take the shot, or still use AP. This needs a little bit of editing. I believe it's still in early access though, so that is something that may need to be looked at. It's funny, this, this guy does not look at all like the ones in the game. I mean, it does, but it's more like a, a cartoony version, I want to say. I don't know, it just looks very different. Because in, in the actual map that we're going to now, it looks super, super realistic, super detailed. I really like it. Okay, we can see two enemies already, that's nice. 
and this is the map that we've rolled. I wanted to say that they're procedurally generated, and I think I still am going to say that, but I do recognize some features that I've seen before. I think what they're doing is taking, say, this is a building, and this is a building, and we will plunk just random buildings in our custom generator thing bob. So I think that's what's happening. What we've got here is these mist, mist doodads, mist sentinels. I have no idea what they do, but if they spot me, they put a bunch of black shit around them. Um, in my test game, I killed them right after he put the black shit around him, uh, but before it managed to do anything. So I'm not sure what we're really doing there. So these are our soldiers. We start off with five of them. We have uh, this guy with an Ares AR-1, so just your standard rifle, another standard rifle, and another one. But then we've got this guy with a Hell 2 cannon, uh, which is sick as hell, but he can't move and fire much. He can move, like, to here and then fire, which he actually can do. Nice. And we've got this sniper rifle as well, which can also move and fire, which is nice. Obviously, you can see here, when you're moving to a spot, it'll tell you if you have um, range and accuracy or all that, line of sight, let's say, on uh, on the enemies, with those blue lines, which is nice. So let's see. You can't see there, but if you move there, you can. You can move to there, you can move there. Nice, okay. Let's start off with this guy, because he's pretty cool. Target confirmation. Not sure where you can really see what the chance to hit is, but if I hit, this is the amount of damage I do. Uh, what's even cooler though, I think, is this button here, which allows me to choose specifically on the enemy where I hit. Unfortunately, I can only see like two spots to him, and both do an equal amount of damage. So let's just aim center mass and fire. If it's disabled, we remove the ability to spawn mist, and it's surveillance, it's willpower, and it's max health points. Because uh, that's its head. Yes. I think we might also kill it. I'm not sure yet. Let's find out. Nice. We did 170 damage. That's most of its health. Beautiful. Fantastic Waiting shot there. We'll get you to move up. You can also fire at the bastards. We'll do one of those as well. But this one's almost dead. Whereas... I. I kind of think I can use one of the other guys to finish him off. Let's go for this one instead. Also aim for its head, because why not? 110 damage, and it is now preparing and it is alerted. Alright, let's move you to here. Let's have you finish off one of them. Can't really see what I'm aiming. There we go. 10 damage from 6 shots. I don't think that's going to kill him. Or it might. He's probably got less than seven, uh, 60 health. It's 70 health on the head itself. Okay. Um, well, yeah, let's just fire then. And he is dead. Or disabled, or whatever they want to call it. You're going to move up and shoot at the other one. I'm going to do this again because it's cool. You see how much damage you'll do going up and down as you aim at different areas. 50 damage, lovely stuff. Oh, you still got a shot. No, you don't. You already yeah. took your shot. Uh, you're going to have to move to... If you move there, you can't take a shot. If you move there, you can. Looks like that's where you're moving to then. And we will just fire normally at the last guy. And it looks like I whiffed. That is a shame. Alright, uh, no one else has any action points remaining, so we'll just make him everyone uh, wait, and we'll start the next turn. But now he's gonna spawn a bunch of black shit. Or, in this case, it's blue. But then it turns black, so that's fine. I hope that doesn't make them all come back to life. There's another evil dude over there as well. Alright, how about the sniper finishes him off? And his black stuff sort of dissipates, I hope. Uh, we're going to use this guy's special ability, which is a jet jump, or jump jet, or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to have him jump into this building here. 
I kind of wish my sniper had this jump pack, because it's super useful. That did cost him three movement points, though, so he can't use his uh, Hell Cannon. But maybe next turn he's going to be in a better position to oh, use yeah. it. All right, and we see one other enemy over here. One of these called... is called Arthrons. They have a machine gun, which looks really sick. That I'll, I'll show you in a moment. He has a shield, and he has a head, which is nice. Wish I could get a closer up view of it. But the, the machine gun is sort of like growing into his hand. It looks pretty gnarly. All right, let's have you move to there. Have you shoot at the bastard? Let's do this. Can I see? There we go. Like the machine gun is sort of growing into him. And what's really cool about this game is you can choose different areas to shoot at. We saw that a little bit with the mist stalkers. You can see even better here. And what's super cool is that if I was to perhaps shoot at the machine gun and disable it, he would no longer be able to use it. I could shoot off his shield. He's no longer got a shield. I could shoot off his arm. He drops the shield. Uh, shoot off his legs and he starts crawling to me. It is really cool. Uh, I think I'm going to try and shoot at the arm. I want to get that machine gun gone. 80 damage. And what did we do to him? Did we take off his arm? He got zero accuracy. We took him down to 20 health on the arm itself. Okie dokie. Alright, where can you move to? You can shoot from here, so let's do that. Insights. Do the same thing again, let's get rid of that arm. The equipment is damaged, this machine gun. So I guess you no longer have the ability to shoot it, perhaps? Oh, uh, I don't know, I think I might have missed the machine gun itself. Hmm. Okie dokie. Got this guy who can also move over here and shoot. Sure We're going to do exactly that. Yeah, I think I actually missed the uh, the arm before. Hit the machine gun instead. The carapace took a little bit of damage. Torso is still fine. The leg's taken a little bit of damage. So, yeah, let's shoot at that arm again. Oh, yes. We took it. Oh, we actually just killed the dude outright. So I guess that didn't really come into effect, but whatever, it's fine. Everyone's finished. You can't do anything. Actually, you could move a smudge. I might move you to here. And then you're also going to move. Next turn, we've sp found someone. He's got a shield. Ooh, he's got his shield out in front of him as well, so it's going to be quite difficult to uh, take out. Can we move? Can we get an angle on him? No, we can't. Well, I guess we're just going to move up to this window. And hold station. I'm going to have you perhaps throw a grenade at this fool. I'm not sure how well that's going to go. Let's get into this cover first. Throw the grenade. We'll try and just ping it right off his shield, why not? That's left click, sorry. Seventeen damage to the shield itself. So how much more has the shield got? Shield. Can I not see the health of the shield? That would be nice. No idea. Well, that's unfortunate. That would have been real nice to see that. What do you need? Oh, well. Right, where can I get another shot on him, though? Not very many places, unfortunately. How about I just run up here and throw another grenade at him? i we'll throw it behind him. He might take a bit more damage that way. Oh yeah, you know, that, that works. We've destroyed his machine gun, disabled his arm, he's bleeding. So now if we have a look at him, 
you can see that his stump of an arm is is kind of you know it's, it's leaking just a, just a wee bit a little bit of a leak Easy enough. I think another grenade might be nice Let's do I don't this. think I have an infinite amount of these but either way it's it's pretty cool I disabled his other arm so now he's no longer got a shield he's got no arms he's bleeding for 20 damage uh, every turn I guess um, yeah. Oh, and you can finish him off by just standing here Let's and up. shooting at him. You can only shoot his carapace. We can shoot his arm, but his arm's dead anyway. Yeah, let's just kill him. Requesting more enemies. <laughs> yeah, request more enemies. Yes, I agree. Make everyone stand by, and <sighs> next turn. Are any Pandorans going to... Oh, hello. Oh, he's actually got damaged by that previous grenade, and we just didn't see him. Well, I think first off, we're going to take a shot. We're going to aim so that we don't hit the shield. We're going to try and hit him. Carapace is actually going to be a kill shot. So, I think... Why not? Very nice. I love that sniper. Sniper's pretty cool. Anyone else? Nope, that was the last enemy. Lovely. So, um, our soldiers, uh, we got a level up on Erwin Edwards and Warui Kwasi, who is my sniper and then one of my gunners as well. Very, very nice indeed. So, let's go back to the Geoscape. If your soldier has not come... does not... oh, that's the same one we've seen already. When faction relations reach 75, you become allied and that faction's full research tree is open for you to research. Very nice. So, we have scavenged the scavenging site and found ourselves uh, Goliath GL2 magazines. Phoenix grenade launcher machines. Oh, very nice. Grenade launchers. That would be pretty cool. Alright, and we've also gained 20, I think that's research, and 150 construction points? Let's have a look. Um... When completing a mission, all gathered items and resources are added to your overall supplies. You can re-equip the members of your squad with new weapons you've gathered at any time by left-clicking on the Personnel tab. You can also access squad members by clicking on the crew icons on the Manticore panel. Right. This is materials and this is tech. Lovely. That scavenging site is completely done. Let's go to Phoenix Point and see if I can land now. I'd like to land. Known missions available. Okay, so I must have to finish this one first. Let's have a look at the personnel. Because we've upgraded a couple of dudes. I've uh, got a few, couple of level ups. So let's go to our sniper, Warui Kwasi. And we're going to do some training. Soldiers can increase their stats or acquire new abilities by spending uh, skill points. Only abilities of the soldier's level or lower can be acquired. Soldiers gain the ability to acquire a second class at tier 4. Doing so provides them full access to all skills and abilities of the new class. Lovely. So at the moment, I am level 2. I can take Extreme Focus, Overwatch Cost is reduced by 1 action point, or Expert Heavy Weapons, additional 20% damage when using heavy weapons. Does the sniper count as a heavy weapon? Equip your soldiers with new weapons and armor by dragging available equipment from the stores onto the appropriate slots. The inventory section items in the ready section are available for instant use at the start of mission. Mount items can only be attached to the corresponding piece of armor. Gotcha. Is this a heavy weapon? Wait for? I don't know. I know this is a heavy weapon, so let's have a look at him. Have a look at his equipment. Does it say anything about heavy? Phoenix Heavy Cannon. Weight is 5. So I would assume maybe it'd be fairly close. And it just says Phoenix Sniper Rifle, so I don't think this actually does count. Alright, fair enough. Well, let's have a look at the training. I think what I would like is for her... Sp his? Her? I'm not sure. Uh, speed to go up. So that I can run further before I get use action points so I can, you know, move and shoot more. I think that is most valuable. 
So I'm going to spend as many points as I can. So now what I could do is the next one's going to cost nine. Actually, I'm going to spend that. Wait. Hmm. Said it was going to cost nine. Oh no, spend ten. So it's going to cost ten to click this button again. I've only got nine, but this pool here is shared between all of my guys. So I could do it and cost myself one point here, but I'm not going to. I don't think that's entirely worth it. Actually, I don't think that's worth it either. What I want to do is get that extreme focus. Right, next guy that's leveled up is this fellow here. He could take dash. Move to a target position at 50% of the maximum up to... Blah. Move to a target position at up to 50% of the maximum movement range. I guess that is a skill. Mm, sure. Let's also get a bit of willpower on this guy. He's not very willful. Alright. The rest of them haven't gained any experience yet. Alright, well we'll leave that there. And go back to the Geoscape and let's go to the second mission. Explore. We'll see what's going on here. Another scavenging site. Lovely. So we're bringing everyone, because why not? The stamina is a little bit lower, but it's still well within range, so that's fine. And yeah, let's deploy the squad. Loading screens are not too bad. Uh, they could be a little bit better, though. Use Overwatch to spend the rest of your action points to attack during the enemy turn at whoever passes through the area you've selected. Yes. The Overwatch um, in this game is actually very interesting as well. It's not just a all-around Overwatch, and if they move within your range, then you shoot at them. You actually have to decide a certain area to look at. So, for example, if I wanted this sniper to Overwatch, you can only Overwatch if it comes into this area, and you can choose further away, you can choose closer. It's very interesting. I'm not going to do that, because that would be silly. Wait, did I just use it? Oh, fuck. Well, that was dumb. I just wasted my guy. Okay, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. Right, let us jump you. To... If I jump too far, then he's way out of position. Let's actually jump you here. Then you're going to be in cover. You've got range all down here for next turn. I think that's going to be just fine. And I forgot that it's left click. I really want this on all of my guys. But the Elysian drop troops are awesome. So I have found one enemy. It is one of the Arthrons. He has a pincer and a grenade. The grenade makes me quite worried, what with me being up here, and if he blows out this from beneath me, I'm going to fall down. Um, I'm going to have you probably dash into this building. Hopefully he hasn't actually seen me. That would be nice. Plus three willpower. I don't know why I got that, but I'll take it. You got any stairs around the place? I don't see any. Other than right here, of course. Rush him in there anyway. I want to use you, I want to use my sniper a bit more effectively. I don't want to end my turn, I want to cancel his overwatch, because it's so dumb. Uh, can, can I move? Can I cancel? I don't think I can cancel my, my silly overwatch of a foot in front of me with a fucking sniper rifle. Whoops. Alright, let's end the turn. Pandoran activity. So, we've got a dude over here. Oh no, he threw a grenade at my cache of supplies. I don't like that. Uh, this guy is just alerted now, so he sees me. Probably sees this guy. Although, he didn't yes. actually do anything about it. But I guess you're not going to be able to shoot. Because there is... 
a, a wall or a pipe in the way. That's unfortunate. I could move to here and then shoot him. Sure, let's give it a shot. Because this thing is super powerful. So I might be able to straight up just murder him in one hit. Oh man, I can see so little of him. But sure. I missed. On, what the hell? Well, that's fun. I could just stand up here and shoot him in the face. You can both shoot. Yeah, let's do it. That's that's not actually what I asked you to do. Oh, 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 oh dear lord. Back in the building. Fire at this one. We disabled an arm. That was an awful lot of damage. Could get outside and up this ladder. Apparently I can go around this side, there's a letter on this side as well. Of course there's no cover here, so I don't quite like this position. I do quite like this position though. Easy enough. I could also grenade this guy. What weapons do you guys have? You have a grenade. You have a grenade. I'm gonna actually use a grenade as well. On this guy here. I am super worried about that pincer and I, cause he's super close to me with a pincer and that's scary. Close we can, there we go. And I use the wrong button again. Watch this. I am watching this, don't worry. We destroyed his grenade and his arm, which is nice. Destroying alien gubbins is always a good thing to do. Move you out here. You could actually also not use grenade because you don't have the action points. Never mind then. All right? Do I have anybody with enough action points for a grenade toss? Other than my frickin' sniper who is utterly wasted. Move you around here. Well, this was a complete waste of a turn. Hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass. Probably will. Well, he's just bled a little bit. Don't know what this guy's doing. They're not actually doing much. Oh, he's throwing a grenade. Oh man, that was painful. Though, thankfully, the ground beneath my feet did not fall, but now it probably will. Am I good? I am good. Right, so I took two grenades. I didn't actually lose all that much health, though. Thankfully, and also curiously. Move you forward into cover, and then you are going to shoot at the only one you can see, which is that fellow right there. He's got full health. And I missed. That's unlucky. That's not unlucky, you're just shit. You got like the best weapon in my arsenal oh. and you fluffed it. Alright, well. Yeah, shoot his torso. Well, uh, interesting camera angle, but we got there in the end. Alright, next guy. This fellow. Might be able to lob a grenade. So close to being able to lob a grenade. What about if I ran to here? No and then lobbed a grenade. Oh yeah. One dead. This guy has disabled head. Did I really disable his... I did. I disabled his head. 
So I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do, but uh, let's put him out of his misery. Most of those shots hit the floor, but apparently that's fine. And because I didn't move, I get to fire again. Because action points, I start with four. Action points taken is only two. So let's do it. And now he's dead. Lovely. Uh, next guy, my sniper. I want to get you up on this roof. Or maybe this roof. In fact, that might be better. You are going to start moving as well, just over here for now. You're going to start moving Shake through here. Back. And you're just being completely useless so far. Next turn. I know there is one guy around here. Because he threw a grenade at this. Other than that, no idea where anyone is. See, let's do a, a small move to here. Still don't see anyone, so I'm going to move here. Still don't see anyone. Could still overwatch, though. Let's overwatch like that. In case we spot anything. You don't see anything, so I want you to overwatch down there. Nothing will get past me. I'm pretty sure it will. You can overwatch in that direction. You're quite hurt, so I'm going to heal myself. Uh, like that. Plus 120 health. Yay. And then you're going to run in a general this way direction, maybe. Oh, I'd like to go through here, but it seems like the floor has been blown out. I could go around the side. Let's do this. And then you use the jump jets to get you up to somewhere a little bit more useful, like right there. Negative two willpower for using my jump jets. Not sure why, but okay. And then pop him down Moving. there. Did I see anyone? Still no one. Right, I know there's one there though, because he's just taken a bit more damage out of that. Alright, you, I'm gonna jump jet again. To here. Negative two willpower, no, stop, stop losing will. Regain the will to fight. Interestingly, I still can't see him. You're still going to stand by, though. Uh, we're going to have you run over here. And stand by. You're going to run there. I'll be there. You go there. What's this? Oh, right, I can just straight away just move somewhere as well. Nice. And then I can move again. Holy shit, that's actually a really nice um, ability. I like it. You're gonna move there. Still got a bit of a high ground, because, I mean, he's a sniper and he needs it. Uh, but a little bit closer as well would be nice. Still don't see the bastard. What do you need? I need you to move here. Still don't see him. Takes zero action points to do this as well, which is super cool. You can move there. I now see him though. Nice. Well, I want you to fire at him. 30 damage. But now we know he knows where I am. And we're just going to keep running up there. Sticking to cover where possible. 
and I don't think I really want to get out of cover. Although they all have grenades, so I'm not sure it really matters all that much. Ooh, if I stand on there, I can shoot him. Did not know I was going to be able to stand up on it. Uh, okay then. That's my sniper as well. No, it's not. Yeah, stand on there. And fire at the enemy. Open Killed his grenade. Love it. Now he's absolutely going to have to come to me. And in that case, big old Overwatch sounds like the trick. I'm just going to jump over there. And hopefully you don't whiff your next shot. And you whiff your next shot. Lord, you're embarrassing yourself. Alright, let's see what he does. We've killed his grenade. Holy shit, you've got a good jump. Let's see, can you hit him? Yes, you can. Let's just shoot at the arm. And it's already destroyed. I'm wondering what kind of damage I'll do to it. That's a kill. Nice. Is that the end? Is that the last one? I think so. It was. Uh, a few more levels up. Two, two, three, three, and then Maud, being my super whiffy grenade launchery dude, is still stuck at one because he sucks. Back to the Geoscape. Let's see what we can do with this. I'm going to have a look at the base because I think that's what I'm allowed to do now. And then I'm going to put a cut in this episode. It's been a long one for the first episode. I'm not sure how long these are going to be. Um, generally, I think 20 minutes for this kind of game is probably not enough. Um, but then might not be every day. Uh, so we have found ourselves some magazines and a med kit. Very nice. Some tech points, some production points, and some food. After every battle, soldiers lose stamina. When the stamina level reaches 20% or less, the soldier will suffer, suffer an action point penalty in the next battle. In order to rest and also heal injuries, you need to send your soldiers back to the base and leave them there. It should take time to rest or heal. Well, I shall do exactly that. Let's go back to the base. Your base contains facilities essential for the success of the Phoenix Project. You can access your base by selecting the Base Info option on the respective base settlement on the globe or by left-clicking on the Bases tab. Okie dokie. Uh, damaged facilities don't function, but they can be repaired. You can repair a damaged facility by left-clicking on the Repair Facility button as long as you have the required resources. Make sure Geoscape time is running for the repair process to proceed. Will do. So we will repair the Research Lab. We can't build anything yet, um, but that's going to come very soon. You can see that we're using 9 power. We've got uh, 20 total. We can have some buildings. Apparently, we're going to be able to have an extra aircraft, though there is no slots where that would actually fit in without shuffling like the living quarters around or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's quite nice. Personnel, let's have a look. You suck. Your aim is diabolical. Like, just, it's just super bad. Strength determines the maximum health points, the weight that can be carried, and how far items can be thrown. Willpower determines the maximum will points in battle, which are used for abilities. Uh, speed determines how many tiles a character can, character can move in one turn. Nothing that really determines how good they shoot. Because this guy, he sucks. Maud. Useless Maud. Anyway, next person. Got another upgrade on you, so we could take Quick Aim. The action point cost of the next shot with the proficient weapon is reduced by 1, down to 0%. Um, weapon's accuracy is increased by 25% for that shot. I do like that. That sounds quite nice. Let's also pop some willpower, because using these abilities does cost willpower. Uh, I've got 9 left. Let's spend it on a bit more speed. Uh, the next fella we've got is Erwin Edwards. You could take return fire, shoot back at an enemy that attacks an ally within perception range. That sounds beautiful. So also have a bit more of everything really. And next fella, Maith Schaefer. Uh, we've got melee weapon proficiency. Ooh, I do like the idea of melee. Proficiency with melee weapons at 10% damage. Uh, we've also got that dash ability that the other dude has got, which I really liked. So I'm going to take it, and I'm actually going to take this one as well, because he's going to be my melee guy. Therefore, I'm going to spec him for a bit more strength, 
and a bit more willpower. Uh, next fellow we've got is Matthias Gomez, who can take that dash ability, which we love. Uh, let's have a bit more willpower on him. And I think, yeah, back to Maud Castile, who sucks. Right. Can't do any research because the base is repairing uh, this thing. It's gonna cost seven hours. So let's all uh, stay at the base and go for seven hours. Time is required for soldiers to heal and facilities to be built. Time only passes while in the geoscape view. Okay. Let's go then. We need seven hours. I guess this is the day and night cycle going over. Right, research building has finished. Uh, it's been repaired. Go to the research tab and select a project uh, to research. Okay. Also, this here is the stamina, I think, of all of my guys because it was ticking up. So, research. We've uh, hovering over the project displays the relative research information and requirements. You can start researching projects by left clicking on the arrow button of the chosen research. You can stop currently ongoing project from the research queue. All research progress will be kept upon stopping. Well, that's nice to know. So, Phoenix Project. We've discovered a batch of encrypted files on the mainframe of the newly reclaimed Phoenix base. According to the file names, these are the Phoenix Archives, or what remains of them. We will research that. It's going to cost us only three hours to decrypt top secret files. No research available in any of these. I don't know what these mean. I know this is Phoenix. Don't know what any of this is. But that's pretty cool as well. Um, yeah, let's go for another three hours. Why not? We've located a brief message in the base logs. If you find this, then you're almost certainly all that remains of the Phoenix project. You still have access to our tech. This base is the most advanced AIs we ever built. It will direct you to research and fabrication. However, there's still other bases out there. It's imperative that you find them. They have invaluable data on the Pandoran threat. Sorry, I cannot be of more help. There's no more time. I have to go. Dr. Randolph Symes III, Phoenix Project Commander. We've got some atmospherical analysis research that we can do, but that is going to be in the next episode, I think. Now that you know your initial goal, build a satellite uplink to start exploring the world or surviving pockets of humanity and functional Phoenix bases. It's also advised to build a fabrication plant so you can manufacture more and more powerful weapons and equipment. Build a facility, left click on an empty base slot, select facility from that list. Ah, sure, why not? We'll do that too. So, we've got two things we can build. I'm just going to chuck them in this corner then. Fabrication plant. Uh, it's going to cost seven hours. The satellite uplink for five hours. And next episode, we'll, uh, we'll see those complete. And uh, we'll get going again. So, I want to thank you all very much for watching the first episode of this series. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to click the like button. It really helps, especially on the first episode of a series. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.